Hi guys, and welcome back to Play Tangle Tower with me. Last time we found a way down from here in the garden to this spooky room. Now let's start exploring. Thirsty? A little, actually. It looks like they're being boiled. They're broken. But the liquid is ice cold. Shattered, much like the paint cans or the bottles up above. A cracked glass tank with nine little rooms. Each one has one or two insects inside. I can't tell if they're still alive. I like that you called them rooms. <laughs> what about these? What's in there? Beetles. It's a little diagram of a beetle, with some incomprehensible notes scribbled next to it. That's weird. What? It looks really... normal. I guess in comparison to the rest of these, it does. Compared to the beetles behind the glass. Nine beetles. All different, all dead. Poor little guys. Now, there's a bunch of notes written all around them. It's mostly numbers. No idea what they mean. Hmm. Nine beetles. Oh, this is mostly numbers. Well, I don't really know what they could mean for now. Maybe breeding numbers? Or species numbers? Discovery numbers? Hugs. Forensic Entomology, Volume <clears> 3. <throat> That's an incredibly specific area of study. Forensic Entomology. That's an incredibly specific... Maybe these are all the books from the library. What a mess. Any idea what this is all about? This reminds me of something. The stuff in this is... fits this, um... Any greenhouse. idea what this is? Nope. Is that a periodic table? No, this is about planets. No, but it does kind of look like one. What are those symbols? They're alchemic symbols. Mostly based on the planets, the sun, the moon, stuff like that. Huh. Right. This looks like it was drawn in a hurry. Didn't we see those same symbols in the greenhouse? Yes, these I do remember. that a lab coat? Warning, hand wash only. Hmm. Size, small. Small could mean that it's Freya's. A candle, perched on a barrel. Freya, fire hazard. Very medieval. I was thinking pirates. Medieval pirates. Compromise. Hand drawn like entomology charts. Hand drawn entomology charts. Chemistry apparatus. Bugs. Big ones. Looks like they're made of metal. Metal? It's so dark. I can barely tell what I'm looking at. Is that a clock or some kind of a pressure thing? Rows of plants, growing in wide wooden boxes. What color is the soil? It looks black, but it's too dark to tell. What about this? Is it locked? Seems likely, doesn't it? <gasps> Puzzle. I can slide the latches until they're in the correct position. Ah. Okay. Let's see. Um, that's the only option. Um, okay, maybe like so. This one could either allow it to continue or take a turn that doesn't quite reach. So, not a turn, I'm guessing. 
There are two options to have it continue straight. Let's try this one for now. Um, so then it would continue like this. Then I guess this is the option to go with. It could turn downward. Probably does. Um, Okay, this seems about right. So it goes here, and down here, and then it picks up over here. That ought to be it. That's the one. Hey, not bad. Not at all. That was fun. Anything inside? Yeah. More research. Ah. More beetle research, I'm guessing. Secret research. A folder containing research notes and diagrams. 1. Our unique flora and fauna is the byproduct of a number of as yet unidentified un chemicals. 2. These chemicals are continually present in the water, forming clouds and filling the lake. This causes a variety of mutations in plants and animals. 3. Smaller creatures such as arachnids, insects, mollusks, mollusks, amphibians, and crustaceans are the most affected. However, the chemicals may travel up the food chain and cause mutations in birds and reptiles. As far as we know, mammals remain completely unaffected. Interesting. So maybe the water beast from the previous game was from here. Whose research is this? Freya's, maybe, or Pointer's. Secret laboratory. laboratory. This is some seriously in-depth research. That's impressive, but it's incomplete. There's a section missing. That makes me think that it's maybe not Pointer's research, the beetle. Maybe it was Flora's. The golden beetle, named for its exoskeleton composed of mineral approximate, approximately 90% identical to gold, has a lifespan of several years. It fends off predators by a loud hiss. Records of over 95 decibels. Sound, basically. And by being completely undigestible. This misted has somewhat spurious irritation for causing ill fortune for those that see it. Pointer owned one of these rare beetles, but it went missing recently. He thinks it was stolen. Perhaps this research is not Pointer's research, in fact, but maybe Freya's. I mean, Freya was very so, into insects. This right? is Pointer's secret lab. Definitely seems like he's the one using it. I guess not a lot of people know about the secret entrance. Right. But if Pointer's the only one who comes down here, why would he need to lock his research in a safe? Who is he hiding it from? He's just paranoid, especially about his golden beetle. What do you think he's trying to do exactly? Well, if this is Pointer's lab, I guess he is kind of small. Hmm. Pointer has been trying to breed the golden beetle in the underground laboratory. Maybe. I mean, it would make sense. He would want to get money, right? Pointer has been trying to breed the golden beetle in the underground laboratory. Why? Because it's rare? Because it's gold. Is that it? I think so. I don't think he cares about entomology any more than he cares about astronomy. He just wants to get one over on Felix. If he can breed his own gold, suddenly Poppy's inheritance is looking pretty... Uh... Infinite. Might explain why he was so worried about losing the beetle. Maybe somebody did steal it. Might have been Freya after all. We know she was trying to get through the secret door in the garden. She might not have known what was down here, though. 
Maybe she was just curious. Curious, sure, but not naive. I reckon she knew what was going on. I think we're still missing the bigger picture. There's no way this is all just about a beetle. We're done. Ready to go down? Again? Oh. It's a hatch. But we're already in the basement. Depends on your perspective. Right, so it immediately just told me that I could go down. It's so dark. I can barely tell what I'm looking at. Well, I guess we have found everything down to hatch. But so, uh, we're already. Depends on time your perspective. To go further down. <laughs> Lowest level. I think we're under the lake. Chain. Gives off kind of a dungeon vibe. What do people actually use chains for? Tying things down. Nothing good. It's an old coat rack. Looks thoroughly neglected. Two cloaks and a green hat draped on top for good measure. Green hat. Who could wear a green hat? Mm. Well? Basements don't normally have windows. Shows into the lake, judging by the light and everything. Or at the bottom of the lake. We must be. Right. But if that's the lake bed, why does it look like that? Like what? White, smooth, no plants, no anything. Maybe nothing lives in it. That's not what a lake looks like. Where are we? The lake. Did you notice how much light this room has? For a room with one candle? It's all coming through the window. I'm pretty sure lakes are supposed to be darker at the bottom, not lighter. Why is there a room down here anyway? And why is it so much older than the rest of Tangle Tower? We still don't really know why people came to live here in the first place. Maybe they just wanted to get rich, like Pointer with his beetles. I feel like the Remingtons came here for the lake, for what was in it. It's empty, though. More empty than a normal lake would be. It is now, yeah. Maybe we're too late. You figured that there was something in the lake that Remingtons used? A single book on a little makeshift table. This is creeping me out slightly. Why? I think it's a children's book. A children's book? Ah, there he is, the swamp monster. Children's book. Mists of the sea and sky. A children's picture book. It looks very old. The ink dip. An elegant bird with red and white plumage. The silver snake. An aquatic reptile with no eyes and a long tongue. The Soul Bearer, a crab with three differently sized claws, and the, amphib the Amphobi, a frog-like creature walking on two legs. It looks like the creature from the first one, definitely. If you're wondering why I haven't played it on stream, it is um, more children focused, I think. So I just haven't done that. Can we a single book. This is Why? I think it's a children's Can we book. Observe these in any way. No. Okay. There's a roll of paper up there. I'll see if I can reach it. Let me guess. Blank. Oh. Misted mansion. North side cross section. This is the Remington's house before the towers were built. It seems like it was originally built upon poles. The water level must have risen since then. A bedroom. Penny's room, I think. It's the room above us. The one we were just in. The laboratory? Yeah. But what is this? Study. Wait. 
I know what you're thinking. And no, we never went in there. How did we miss it? Maybe the entry is from Grand Hall behind the aquarium or something. That's the room we're in now. It must be. It's not labeled as anything on these plans, though. I think it already existed when this was made. Quite possible. Perhaps the water level... And that's the lake, right? I think that horizontal line might be the water level. It used to be a lot lower down than it is now. Curious. Storage. This is Freya's room. It's Freya's room. I wonder if this was before the Remingtons even took residence. I mean, they had three children, right? Would have made sense for there to be a little bit more room. This seems pretty significant. I agree. Agreed. A roll of parchment on which the plans for a grand mansion have been drawn. A horizontal line marks where the lake was before, and a second marks where it is now. Ah oh yes, here. The mansion has been built on top of a large structure above the lake, supported by pillars. Freya's room is listed as storage. A room labor labeled study is in the center. I wonder if Freya found something in her room alluding to all this. What's that? We're too late. This photograph has been stabbed. Is that red rope? Why? By what? Not sure. Some kind of metal stabbing thingy. It is. And I'm pretty sure it matches. So what's the photo? Flora, and I guess Lord Remington. Damaged photo. It's been framed, but it's slightly damp. The photograph shows a young girl. A large man is sitting next to her. Around them are several red and white birds. A metal object was stabbed into the photo, leaving a hole near the man's chest. Someone did not like Lord Remington, I'm guessing. But it's such a lovely photo, too. Do you know who it is? In the photo? I believe so. This man, in the photo, he reminds me of something. From one of our clues. Yes. This here. Felix made a little model of him? For Flora? Yeah. It makes sense when you know who he is. Lord Remington. Remington. That makes him Flora's father. Meaning the girl in the photo is... Yeah, it's her. See the bird, too. I never would have guessed. Times sure do change. I don't know. I don't think she looks so different. Mm. I think she looks rather similar, actually. Let's head back up to the Grand Hall. I want to find that last room. Hold on for now. Ah, this is our second set of clues. Old cardboard boxes. How exciting. Oh, but there's more. Mold? They're also damp. <laughs> and empty. Do these puddles worry you? Why? That's lake water, but it's indoors. Ah, I see your point. Well, nothing's broken down so far. It's an empty bookcase. Something tells me it's been empty for a long time. This room looks old. Like... Old, old. It makes the rest of the house seem relatively modern. Well, I guess we better check out the upstairs. It is quite creepy, isn't it? Let's not wander off right now. Oh, I'm supposed to go straight here. Grand Hall. Wow, it's dark all of a sudden. How long were we down there? A while, I'm guessing. 
This must be it. This thing goes all the way up. It does. Straight into the roof. Straight into the rooftop garden, too. How are we supposed to get up there? Ladder, maybe? Hang on. It's pitch black. But I think there's a switch. Okay, I wasn't thinking ladder that literally, but sure. A ladder. Want to go up? Tower, the hidden heart. Whoa, another werewolf. You know, in any normal room, this thing would be my main concern. In here, though, it barely makes the top three. Wait a second. That's the crab. Is that a crab? It's got a translucent exoskeleton. You can actually see its insides. Also, crabs normally have two claws, right? Not three? This was in the children's book. Gah. You sure we should be touching it? Grimoire, don't you think it looks familiar? Yes. Oh goodness. Oh god. This crab really reminds that me- That little wooden toy we found? Yeah, but I don't think that's going to help us. I think I've seen it more recently. The children's book. I think we need to put it in the same position as it is in that one. Here. <clears throat> this soul bearer. Now this is starting to kind of make Dragon? sense. Snake? Worm? That's the one. There are two of the creatures here. Two of the mutations. The silver snake and the soul bearer. The ink tip is missing. And then the amphibian creature. This one. I think it was called Boggy in the other game. It was still free and outside. It seems like these were captured, judging by all of these weapons and everything. This is a trophy room. Some kind of fish and a bird skull? If that's a bird skull, we're talking about a 15-foot bird here. Well, how about we stop talking about it? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's see. Um, little one is outward and closed. And uh, this points outward, outward and open. And those two are open. Let's see if I can it's remember not a this. Crab. It's got a Also, crabs. Okay, so... This was pointing up. And, uh, you're kind of also up and open, and, uh, was it something uh, along the lines of this? Perfect. A crossbow. What's this? Something somebody didn't want us to find. The real ghost here. Whoa. Freya was really just crossbow to death, and then the arrow was pulled out with the reel. What is it? Was someone trying to hide it? From us? I don't know, but it looks incomplete to me. I want to know what happened to the rest of it. Where are the other parts? We have them already. We found them already. Actually, give me a second. I think this goes to the bottom. I think that might attach, the but point. not this part of the cross. Should I go back? I think... Oh, it's probably the lens. It was in Hawkshaw's possession. She claimed that it belonged to her. What do you make of it? Not sure. Let's keep an open mind. You don't think the crossbow is the murder weapon? Oh no, the crossbow is definitely the murder weapon. But that doesn't mean we've solved the mystery. 
Now this really truly makes her suspicious. Hawkshaw says it's a handheld microscope used for detective work. Fifi says it's not a microscope and Hawkshaw admitted it's a telescope she carries around for sentimental reasons. Of course, it could be that she's holding on to it for- Those hunter, aren't bird but... cages. Some of them are disconcertingly large. At least they're all empty. You sure that's a good thing? There's still a deeper level here too. It's a wooden pinboard, hung up on one of the chains. Looks like there's a couple of things missing from it. Wait. These are Freya's. Pinboard. A large central sheet of paper has been pinned to it. Four lines have been drawn from a gap in the center. A smaller sheet underneath features a drawing resembling a silhouette of cloaked figure. I'm pretty sure that this goes in there. Hawkshaw. It's a wood hung. Looks like there's a couple of things missing from it. One, two, three things. It's truly puzzling me. Nice chair. It's still warm. Maybe it's just heat from the incinerator. I sure hope so. Maybe. An axe and some kind of hunting rifle mounted on the wall. Honestly, doesn't look like they've been moved in a few years. I'm more worried about the third one. The third one? The crossbow spot. The one that isn't there. Well, it's right there. Coffee table, half-empty wine bottle, lap left on. I'm gonna say someone's been using this room. Very recently. Someone complacent enough to leave their notebook lying around. What's this? Notebook. Several pages have been ripped out, but a few remain. Fifth Ambassador located, finally. Can't say I harbored any optimism, but still somehow disappointed. No better than the rest of them. Took my mustard friend into the music room for experiments. It worked, perhaps too well. The laboratory was another disappointment. All that effort for what? He's even more short-sighted than I could have guessed. Went to the bottom. Nice view. It's been mostly cleaned out, but I have what I need. She's got in. She got in. She was careful. Nothing was moved. But I know. It's time. I'm guessing the incinerator was used to destroy some of the pages, but... The missed friend into the music room for experiments. Are they perhaps referring to the golden beetle being taken to the music room? I mean, there was this horn statue that was broken and cracked. Maybe the beetle, with its high decibel whatnot, was used to produce really high, strong hissing sound. An incinerator built into the wall. It's still pretty hot. Is there anything left inside? It's mostly ashes. But yeah, there's something. The bird feather. The wall was pretty hot in Penny's room, so the incinerator must be next to that wall. Burnt items. Not much more than a pile of dust and ash. Among the ashes are several black buttons. Red-colored scraps of fabric are still visible. And the inked up bird feather. Red fabric and black buttons. What's this? Ah. You can zoom in and look around. Someone's been using this room. Hawkshaw is the only character that I know of that has red and black buttons. Could it be that she burned her clothes? That's a bookcase. It's mostly empty. What a surprise. A wooden stool. A crack. Do those look like scratch marks to you? On the glass? Yeah. They're on the inside. Whoa. 
I wonder if this guy used to be in there. What are these? It's a wooden pinball. Hung up. Looks on. like there's a couple of things missing from it. I'm starting to have Who some are all the people in this photo? theories, but it's spooky. Not sure, out. but it looks like someone didn't like them very much. Their eyes have all been crossed out. They look vaguely familiar. I mean, this looks a little bit like Fifi and Poppy. Lord Remington or Felix, maybe? This one has the vaguest resemblance to Fitz, maybe, perhaps? And this guy, this guy I know. This is Floras and Primrose's brother. Richard Remington. He was in the first game. At least he looks much like it. In that game, he was the murder victim. And he also was trying to hunt for this creature. Group photo. A photograph in a sturdy wooden frame. It's dusty and looks several years old. A brass plaque at the base of the frame reads, The Ambassadors of Misted Mansion. The photo shows two women and three, two women and three men wearing a variety of different styles of clothing. All five people have had their faces crudely covered with black ink. That could be Poppy's mother. And... Who could this be? I mean, the hair is same as Fifi's, but... I wish I had the family... family tree to look at. She really looks like some kind of a poacher, doesn't she? The Ambassadors of Misted Mansion. Misted Mansion is what this was called. Hmm. That photo is important. I'm sure of it. I believe so too. I don't get it. This room is in the original building plans for the mansion, but nowadays it's some big secret? It's not a secret to everybody. At least one other person still knows about this room. The way the notebook was left out on the table makes me think it's someone who has the room all to themselves. Whoever it was, they left more than just the notebook. There's a whole design project on this pinboard. Feels like someone put quite a bit of effort into it. It's a shame there are things missing from it. I'm betting it'd make more sense if we could see it all together. That might not be impossible, you know. That someone who is the single person who knew about this place cannot be Freya. Needs to be somebody else. Part of me really thinks that whoever Hawkshaw is knows something. Painting from Freya's room, and those sketches... Did Freya design Detective Hawkshaw's clothes? That's what, what I'm thinking too. What kind of too. sense does that make? I don't think that's why Freya made that painting. But it may have been why somebody took a photo of it, to use as reference. And as for those sketches of Hawkshaw, I don't think Freya actually drew them. It was somebody else. Someone with less of a talent for art. Doesn't exactly narrow it down. Should we go ask Detective Hawkshaw about all this? I'm thinking. It is true that the sketches regarding Hawkshaw are less accurate. Okay, I, I guess there it's the time to dig up the wild theory. I'm pretty sure that Hawkshaw's voice actress is the same as another character's. At least they sound similar enough to me, even if their speech patterns are very different. Um, because they both have very interesting speech patterns. And this kind of tendency to make their speech softer towards the end. 
it's um maybe Hawkshaw is actually a disguise. I'm not sure. I still don't know what's really going on. I mean, it, it's not possible that Hawkshaw is using this room. It hardly is. I mean, she's been around for a while, but to take the room over in such a way? That would greatly surprise me. Besides, we were also said that that other character is not quite what they Another seem to be. Another photograph. Their faces are all crossed out with some kind of black ink. That's weird. Oh, you think so? Uh, no, I mean, something I just realized. Sally, did we meet any of these people here at Tango Tower? No. Well, the woman on the left looks a little like Poppy, but her style is way different. And at first I thought the guy on the top right was Felix, but now that I look at it, I don't think it is him. The murder. Time to solve this. Well, let's leave this hanging for one last time. Alright guys, next time we're going to be solving this. Place your final bets on who you think is the murderer and who's done and what. I can't wait to see your comments. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video when we finish this. Bye.